So in today's lesson, we're going to learn how to play Lament to the Moon from your Time Pieces Volume 1 book. This is on the first page of music and it's right at the bottom. We're going to learn the bottom one, the one with no sharps or flats in the key signature. So before we do anything, we're going to make sure we're in tune. So we're going to play all our strings. I'll play them and twist your tuning pegs to make sure that they're in tune. Okay, here's your G string. Here's your D string. Here's your A string. And your E string. Now you're all in tune. If you need to do that again, rewind it and tune yourself again. But now you're all in tune. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by playing the A minor scale, which is the scale that all of these notes in this piece are in. Okay, so that is gonna appear on your screen now. I'm gonna play it and I just want you to listen and try and work out what fingers I'm using on each string and which strings I need to play on. I only used finger one and finger two. We've got no fourth fingers in this piece. Okay, we'll try it together now. So I'll put the music on with the fingers on this time. We're going to start on our A string and we're going to go up all the way to first finger on G string and then come back down again. Here we go. Three, four. gone over all of the notes that we're going to use in this piece and we've figured out that we're only going to use finger one and finger two we're going to try playing this piece learning it one phrase at a time phrase is the musical term for a sentence so you'll notice in this piece that there's some natural gaps in the piece or natural endings to phrases and we're going to do it one phrase at a time I'm going to play the piece so you can hear it all in one go and I'd like you to tell me how many phrases you think there are on this piece. What did you think? I think there's four phrases in this piece, two on each line. I'll play it again and I'll make it really obvious when I get to the end of each phrase and see if you agree with me. Did you notice every time I stopped it was in a really appropriate place, it kind of felt like the music had come to a bit of a stop at that point. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn it one phrase at a time. 
So I'll really clearly explain to you where I want you to stop each time, don't worry. So we're gonna start by doing the first section. So that's from your first note that you play all the way to the first crotchet rest. That's where we're gonna stop for this first bit, okay? So we're starting on the A string because it's in the bottom space, just like when we started on our scale. And all we're doing is walking up our scale to that C. And that C lasts for three beats because it's a dotted minim. So our first bit goes like this. A, A, B, C, two, three. So that lasts for three beats. We go back down to A. Then you see we've got a big jump all the way to that middle line. And that middle line is our open D string. And then we've just got a little scale downwards. Back to A again. So we finish where we started. So it's quite nice. It normally is moving in one step at a time up and down our little scale. We've just got that one big jump up to that D string to remember. So let's see if we can play that together nice and slowly. And we'll see if we can get the rhythms as well. Really listen to those rhythms. Make sure you're counting to three on the dotted minim. And make sure your quavers are twice as fast as your crotchet. I'll give you three beats in and we'll try it together. One, two, three. Did you notice that I did something special with those quavers? Can you see that they're joined together like that with a little line? That's called a slur. And if you remember what a slur is, that's great. If you're not sure, what that means is you just play them all in one bow. So I did them like this. Do you see it was in the same direction? I didn't change. I did them all in one bow. Like that. Let's try that one more time. See this time, make sure you're counting and make sure that you're quavers are all in one bow. We're also going to take notice of that little V shape above the first note. If you're not sure what that means, that means it's an up bow, which means you start at the point of your bow. So let's make sure we're on the, on the A string at the point of our bow, and we're gonna do a nice up bow to start with. I'll give you three beats in. One, two, three. Hopefully you're feeling okay with that first phrase. If you want to rewind the video and go back over that again, that's fine, do that now. If not, we're gonna carry on. Okay, so now we're on phrase two. So we've just got to the crotchet rest on the first line. The next note that we have is lower than our A string. So when we need to go lower than an open string, remember we put as many fingers as we know onto the next string down. So in this case, we know we've got no four fingers in this piece, all seconds. So we're gonna put two fingers down on the E string to make a G. Okay, so this is how you play a G. Join in with me and see if it's in tune. And remember when you press down on a G, you need, on the E string, sorry, you need to make sure that you're pressing really hard with those fingers so that it's making a really nice sound. And also use lots and lots of bow to make sure that you get that string really vibrating. Okay, let's play two Gs now, because that's what we've got first. Excellent. Next note is all the way up at the top of the stave. Okay, so our D string would be on the middle line, and we can see that it's a space and a line higher than that, which means it's gonna be D, E, F, which is two fingers on the D string. So we've got a big jump there from G to F. So we need to make sure not only do we get our first and second fingers all the way across to the D string, we also get our bow all the way across to the D string. So don't lift your bow up, just pivot across to the D string, but make sure it's not moving when you do that, otherwise you'll play your A string in the middle, which we don't want to hear. So let's just try that. Let's just try going from G to F. G. Pivot, F, G, stop your bow, pivot, F. Okay, so now you can see we've got two Gs and two Fs, and we're starting on an up bow again because we've got that little V sign above it. So let's try just playing those first four notes. Start near the point, 
lots of bow room and press really hard. I'll give you three beats in. One, two, three. Really good, well done. And make sure that you hold that last F for three beats again because it's a dotted minute. Okay, so now we've played our F. Our next three notes are on the D string still. Can you see we've dropped down to the middle line, which is D. Then we go back up to F again, and then E in the middle. And then we're gonna finish this next phrase on the first note of the second line, so that three beat E. So you've just played G, G, F, F. And now we're going to do D, F, E. And then a long E, one, two, so should we try that together? I'll give you three beats in again. Start at the point of your bow on a D. One, two, three. One, two, three. Excellent. Let's try that whole phrase together. So from the G on the E string, so get your second finger ready. Bow on the E string at the point. One, two, three. our second phrase. So now let's see if we can play the beginning all the way to the first note of the second line. Let's see if we can do it all. So we're starting on the A string at the point of our bow. Get your fingers ready because you're going to need it after the first couple of notes. I'm going to count you in three beats. Ready? One, two, three. Good, well done, you're doing brilliantly. We're nearly there now. Okay, so we've just played that long E at the beginning of the, of the second line. The next notes are the same, because they're on the same line. And then we've got a big jump up. Now can you work out what that note is? Okay, so G, which is our open string, would be in the top space. So that next note is a little bit higher, which means it's gonna be a first finger on the G string, which is A. So we're starting on first finger on the D for E, and then we're moving to first finger on the G for an A. So let's try that together, and we're gonna start on an up bow again, because every phrase in this piece starts on an up bow. So we're gonna do two E's and then two A's. One, two, three. Good, well done. A little tip if you're feeling like you could try a little bit more of an advanced technique is to pop your first finger across both strings so you kind of lay it a bit more flat and that's going to mean you can roll off your E all the way across to your A to give you a smoother transition rather than lifting your first finger off like that. It's going to give you a bit more of a smooth transition between the string change. But if you need to lift and push across for now that's absolutely fine, it will still work. So let's try that one more time, and if you feel like you can roll across, then we'll do that. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so after that long A, can you see we go back to the same note we started this phrase on, which is an E. And then we've got a bit of a jump up, and that note, we should recognise that note in the top space. That's our open G string. And then we just do a little scale down. So open G, and because we've got to go down from an open string, remember what happens here? We go to two fingers on the string below, and then we just take them off one at a time to go down to our long D. And that's the end of that phrase. So let's try from the second half of that. So from E, G, F, E, D. Ready, I'll give you three in. One, two, three. that one more go that's a bit tricky and can you spot that we've got another slur on those quavers this time so make sure that you do those nicely in one bow 
Make sure that you really space your notes out and you use your whole bow for that slur. Don't get cramped up in the top half. And you'll get a really nice sound out of that. Let's do that one more time. So starting on E and going to G. One, two, three. Nearly there now. Let's try all that phrase from the beginning of the set of the second line, apart from the first note. So we're going to start on that E after the dotted minim. See if we can do the whole thing. One, two, three. Let's have one more go at that together. One. Two, three. Nearly there now. Last phrase. Three quarters of the way through this piece. So, the next thing we're going to do is pop two fingers back down on the D, on the D string to make an F. Can you see that we've just finished on a D? The next space would be E, so the next line would be F. So we're going to put two fingers down. And there's three of that same note starting on an up bow. And then all we're doing is walking down a little scale. So two, 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 one. And then O, oh, two, one, O, oh, and an A to finish. So it's just a little scale down this bit with a few different rhythms on the way. So we'll start on an F. Let's do this together and see if we can do the whole phrase seeing as the notes are quite easy. Ready? One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's have one more go at that. So get your second finger ready on the D string. Ready? One, two, three. if we can do that whole second line all in one go. So we're going to start on the second note of the second line, which is E, on an up bow. Ready? One, two, three. Well done. The next thing we're going to do, final thing we're going to do, is see if we can play it all the way through from the beginning. And I also want you to have a little think about the dynamics. So remember that P is for piano, which means quiet. Then we go to MF in the second phrase, which is medium forte, mezzo forte. And we stay mezzo forte for ages until the last two bars where it says dim underneath, which is short for diminuendo, which means get quieter. So at the end we're going to get really quiet and play our last note as quiet as we can. So let's try this from the beginning. This time I'm going to count in from where the piano starts, which is right at the beginning. So the first bar only has three beats in it, it's a half bar. The piano has three notes in that bar. And then in the second bar we have three notes before we come in. So this time you're going to get one, two, three, one, two, three, start. Okay, so let's go from the beginning. Remember we're starting piano, so not too much pressure and not too much bow. So we won't, maybe don't need to start all the way at the point this time, but we're still gonna do an up. Okay, ready? One, two, three, one, two, three.
well done so if you need to go over any of that again you can rewind the video and go over it okay and now i'm going to put a little link in to me playing it along with the piano part so you can have a go now at playing it with the piano hope you enjoyed your lesson today and i'll see you soon in the next one bye <laughs>